Hi viewers. Today we are going to tackle a super easy project. So uh, if you don't do a lot of mechanic work and want to do something that you can do it yourself, uh, this is the project. What we're going to do today is replace uh, gas struts uh, on a hatchback. So the uh, car is uh, my AMC Eagle SX4 1983 and it's got a problem that uh, you know anybody that's got a hatchback or uh, you know some trunks use them um, you know where you uh, pop the trunk where you pop the hatch and uh, it doesn't go up and then you go out and you push it up but as soon as you let go you know it drifts down that's a problem a lot of people have well that problem is easy to fix and uh, you don't need to go to you don't need to go to a mechanic um, you don't even need to call a friend of yours, you can do it yourself, and I am going to show you how. So first let me show you uh, what happens when I try and open the trunk, just so you can make sure that you have a similar problem. So this is my trunk release. I push this and the hatch is supposed to uh, pop open. So I push that button. And my hatch did not go up, but it is unlocked, so I can push it up. So there we are, pushing it up. But uh, what happens when I what happens when I let go is it starts to drift down. And if your hatch does the same thing. Let me grab this. If your hatch does the same thing, what you need to replace are these gas struts. And you probably have one on each side. And uh, these things are a lot like shock absorbers in your car, only they're smaller. And uh, the air pressure inside is supposed to uh, hold your hatch open and uh, on a lot of cars just push it all the way up. You can get replacement gas struts um, at any uh, automotive parts store. If you go in the parts store, they often have a book that you can uh, go through and find your car and get uh, just the right strut. Uh, also, if you go online, you can just uh, go to you know just about any parts store online, uh, put in your car, and then it'll show you uh, which struts are correct when you search for them. So I bought these Monroe. Uh, one thing about the struts is, you know, they've got ones that are super cheap, they've got ones that are super expensive, and they've got ones that are middle in the middle of the road. Um, I opted to get the ones that are kind of high middle of the road. Um, I'm just assuming cheap ones are Chinese and break quick. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with replacing them and having them go bad, but I just went ahead and bought a name brand part uh, that seemed priced okay. Super cheap ones are like, uh, you know, $8 a piece, so you get two for like 15 That's just too cheap. This is what it looks like out of the package. There's a ball joint on each end, so uh, there's one here. So this is like the female side of the ball joint. And uh, there's another one here. Um, and uh, the male part of the ball joint is uh, on your hatch. So to put these on, uh, what you wanna do is loosen this clip here. And you loosen this clip here and uh, I usually just do it with a small screwdriver, so I will show you how to do that next. So to, in order to put these on, you have to loosen this metal tab right here. Uh, to do that, uh, you just jam a little screwdriver in there and pry. What I like to do is get them loose like this so I don't take it off all the way. It's just easier to put back on if you don't take it off all the way. And then you do the same thing on this side. I'll take the screwdriver and pry that back. 
and uh, you know have it looking the same as this. What I do next is uh, I take one of the struts off. I don't I don't like to recommend to anybody that they uh, take everything apart all at once uh, since this is the same on each side. What I recommend doing is doing one side at a time so that you can use the other side as reference uh, you know to see how to put things back together. So what I've done here is I've supported the top uh, just with a scrap board. Uh, you know I know that's not going to really scratch anything and this isn't a super classic car anyway so uh, I'm not too worried about uh, cosmetics caused by the board but uh, if you were more concerned uh, you could you know find something softer or cover the board with a towel or something like that so now that the uh, hatch is supported up and I don't have to worry about it falling down on my head uh, I am going to take this strut off to get the strut off you have to remove the metal clip that I showed you on the new strut so I'm gonna pry this metal clip off and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it all the way off because I'm not gonna reuse it and that'll make it easier to uh, get the strut off so I've got the clip all the way off and so now I just push that thing off and it comes loose real easy and the board holds the top up so it doesn't come down on my head or anything so uh, now the strut is loose and hanging by one ball joint. So now I have to release the lower ball joint. Again, all I do is uh, pry off this metal thing. <laughs> Actually, that came off on its own. I didn't have to get the metal thing all the way off. Uh, so that was a bonus. Uh, but anyway, uh, normally you would take that clip out and then it would come off, but uh, that one came off a little easier than it should have. With the strut off, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply a little bit of uh, grease uh, to, the, uh, to the balls. Um, the reason I do that is everything will just last a little longer and they'll work a little better and it'll prevent rust and uh, unnecessary wear. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grease these up. And uh, the struts usually come pre greased. You know, I'm just. Uh, taking it to the next step. And this is just basic multi-purpose grease. Okay, I've got my new strut. Uh, I don't know if you can see the grease in there, but there is a little bit of grease in there. So I'm gonna to refer to my other side and to, just to make sure I do everything right. And so uh, on that side, this part is down so I'm gonna go ahead and put this part onto the ball and that's what it looks like clipped in I just couldn't uh, I just needed both hands to sort of stabilize everything and push that clip in but it's clipped in and it is holding on the ball joint so the next thing I have to do is connect it to this ball joint so you'll immediately notice a problem. This is not facing the right direction, but that is no big deal. All you have to do is twist it and get the aim the way you need it. Uh, so now uh, they don't meet up with each other. So what I have to do is, uh, is lift the lid a little and, uh, and you know get it to the right height and push it in. So I'm gonna to have to stop the camera to do that. I'll be back. The strut is lined up and in place. Uh, this is the little clip. All I have to do is push that to lock it on. So it is locked on now. Let's step back and take a look. 
the top is staying up but I do want to go ahead and replace the uh, other one too replacing the other strut is just a uh, mere procedure uh, to doing the first one so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the second strut and I will use the first strut I put on as a reference to complete it. I've got the second strut on now. Um, the one strut was already holding up the hatch but uh, the two are holding it up also. I'm gonna go ahead and close the hatch and uh, then I'm going to test and see how this works. Pushing the release button. I heard it click. Okay, the hatch did not go up on its own. But I'm not sure it ever did go up on its own. Uh, I didn't have this car new, so... Uh, it would be nice if it went up on its own, but I kind of figure it probably never did. But I can lift it. And it's definitely holding itself up. It would have been nice if it had opened the hatch, but uh, this is probably the same way it worked new. Maybe some Eagle owners will comment below and let me know. That's it for today's how-to video. Like I said, it's very easy. You don't have to be afraid of doing this job yourself. Uh, please check out my other videos. I have uh, a number of other how-to videos and I also have videos where I go around Columbus, Ohio defeating claw machines. So check those out, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and good luck with your projects.